Hi guys, my name is Matt. And in this video, we're going to be making a dungeon guide for Grim Batal. Grim Batal is one of the middle dungeons for the Mist of Bandar... No, no, the Cataclysm expansion. That's right, I'm doing both going back and forth here. This is one that they actually tuned correctly. The first three Cataclysm dungeons are grossly overtuned. Um, meaning that they, uh, the Throne of the Tides, Vortex Pinnacle, and Blackrock Caverns are all super um, higher difficulty than they're supposed to. Um, something to do with the tuning of them, but they've never fixed it. So, um, anyway, um, they are uh, there's something else. But by the time you get to Grim Batal, the enemies are easy again. So I'm not quite sure what that's about, but this is where we are. Okay, so there's an extra archaeology quest over here on the side if you'd like to do it. If not, not a biggie. <clears throat> You're going to clear these groups out, and then we're going to go ride drakes, believe it or not. Pretty fun part of this dungeon. Okay. You see these nets? Kill the nets. Okay, kill the nets, kill the mobs, then you'll be able to get on the drakes right here. You'd be all set, guys. There we go. They're all freed up for us to do them. Okay. So now pick a drake, any drake, doesn't matter which one, guys. What you're going to do is you're going to ride it, and you're going to go through the instance. And you're going to bomb stuff. All of the enemies that you kill with your drake, you do not have to kill later. For real, for real. So any enemies that you manage to do all this damage to, your group does not have to fight later. So the better your group is at killing these collectively, the less you guys have to go through and fight them later, which is pretty amazing. Kill the trogs as you fly over the trogs. Okay. You cannot kill the Drake Riders. Those are the single ones that are walking, but you can kill or damage everything else to a pretty high degree, and you get a chance to circle back around, which is awesome. You also can't hurt the boss that's right here. Okay, you're going to circle back around. Anything that's red needs to be dead, guys. Same thing on the side. Put as much damage into everything as you can. I'll just straight up eliminate the group basically. Anybody left over here? We did a pretty good job, I think. Right. Bombing mission Drake and then head over. Now, if you get everything right, all this should be dead along the way, which is a good time, of course. Oh, we missed some over here on the patrol, so we'll have to clear those. And you can see across the way up there's the first boss name is General Umbros. And I'm taking the time to disconnect everything in here because I'm scanning as I go through the expansion so I don't have to look back. I'm scanning one of the few professions that you don't know what profession to take. Just take scanning as level. It's a great way to get bold. Those are just instead of scanning that say um, that say that uh, you know it's not a great gold anchor or whatever. They don't, they don't know what I'm talking about. You can make unbelievable goals, yeah. Okay, 
got a long press. Um, get some trog ads. Um, normally, he's not tough at all, guys. He's really not that. On heroic, he's pretty hard, but still undoable. The last boss over in this dungeon on heroic is pretty easy. So essentially, no safe place to stand, as you'll learn. Okay, Jill, I'm down. Get your fat loots. Get your skins. And we're moving on. Okay, we're heading into this room. This room has a mobile boss. Boss that patrols around this whole little area. I don't believe you have to pull these, but it's okay. That's the Forge Master from this boss. He is mad at her. And look at the green to the boss early. So the Throng is still a warrior. It's so, uh, like several other warrior bosses that we're going to come through across in the game. He's going to switch to Kansas. Put on some different weapons. Not the right boss to loss on. I would not have used the heroism on this boss. This boss is super easy. He's got a shield on, so he's in pro stance right now. But because of the length of the dungeon, you might be able to be the last boss and use lots again. So you know, With the dark iron chain boots, see what those look like. Those are, oops, some purple with a little bit of blue on top. Pretty good the boots, guys. Yeah, me. Burst all these guys down. We've got two or four bosses. Dead. Okay. We're good there. Keep on heading down. Down. Master Skinner, without even trying. 
just generic kill along the way. Pretty nice. I guess that scanning is the easiest profession in the game to level. But herbalism is the close item. So once you go to these great qualities, then they're great people come to and you gotta go down. Which is not too tough. Is drag the shadow burner. Same concept applies. I can get him low, but to get his great fight before them again. Back on him. First of down. Grace says not dying for you and your tablets. Okay, head over this way. Don't need to. At least I don't think I think you can turn left. Ooh, never kill. Oh, I just missed my fatty. There he is. So what happens on heroic on the spike? If anybody does this on heroic, I'd love to do the group. It's super hard to get groups for heroics. As you love, like dudes never pops. So um, I don't even do in time walking, but you can like half the dungeons in time walking. I want to make people miss them on 
we should hit them also. Um, is that basically the floor on the giant black kind of area, which is basically you no know, safe place to stand no matter what you do. You need to hope your healer can save you through. It's pretty brutal to be honest. Okay, hey, normal is not too bad. Though. And so if he's still alive in two minutes, he'll use heroism again, but it doesn't look like he's going to be, so we'll do his birth through normal. This is what I was talking about. See the floor? It's a giant puddle of where do I stand in that tie? And the answer is there's no way to stand. So, there's your docs. This is one of the ones where you're going to want to port out, port back in, guys. Because there's. Well, that's just a long run back to the dungeon. To the start, I should say. Come over here, we're going to turn everything in. Alright. That was a date for me. It took us just over 17 minutes to clear the ground with the call, guys. I spawned dungeon. Um, I hope you guys like the guy. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow it to help as many players as possible. And hit the little bell icon if you guys like these kind of videos. Thank you for the time with me. This has been Afterlight Darkness. Signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.